I got contacted uh, by a friend of mine and they were like, are you doing okay? Uh, Mr. Happy or Mike, Mr. Happy contacted me and, and he's always treated me like a blood brother. And I was like, no, I'm not. He said, we need mm. to talk. Cause I could see it in your face when you stream. And he's like, you don't hide stuff well. And I don't want you to damage something that you could potentially be great at. I said, like, okay. Sat down and talked and he told me some things. And he said, I think that you need to take a break and then like reflect on some things and really put your mind to it and find out what you're missing. I said, okay. Uh, reach out to bike man. I told bike man, I was like, I don't like me. I don't think anybody likes me. I was like, I don't even like myself. Mm. I was like, I hate being in the skin that I am in. I hate this, that, and the other. You know, I was reverting back to what I was a kid when I had these conversations with my mom. Like, I was like, why couldn't I be your complexion? You know? Mm. Um, and Bike Man was like, well, I like you. And I was like, but I suck. And he was like, then be good at sucking. <laughs> and I didn't understand. And I was like, the heck you mean? You know, it's supposed to be mm. consoling me. But it, then it dinged on me. And I was like, he was like, dude, if you're good at something, somebody's going to like you for it. He's like, you just gotta keep with that attitude. And uh, I was like, all right. And then Ezekiel the third contacted me at like 3 a.m. in the morning, you know, out of his time just to talk to me to make sure I was okay. And I said, if all these people are contacting me, then there's I I touched them in some way. There's something there that I I I'm not I'm doing a disservice if I give up. 